Hey there guys, I just want to do a little follow-up video of my table saw sled. And uh, here it is, and it's all its glory. I ended up putting a coat of lacquer on it. I just couldn't do it with the fumes right now because I was brushing it on, so I think probably in the springtime I'll put another coat of lacquer on it. I just waxed the fence for now. It's a real nice, uh, nice finish for it. Um, I've got the tape in, I've got the insert on. Uh, the fence is all set with the stop block, which is really nice. Oh shit, I just undid my stop block. <laughs> That's a nice thing though about it being repeatable. It's not just something that's, um, you know, that's totally uh, ornate where you just clamp in a block and set. So just put it right back on seven. All set again, no problem. Um, take some stuff off of this, but uh, basically, I've got this slick tape underneath it, and it's this 132nd, extremely overpriced plastic tape, which works moderately well. I've got to use it on that slot motor, sir, which I got the other video of which is another reason why I could justify it. $16 a roll. That is a scam. Everybody wants to say it's petroleum, but it's bullshit. You know, that, that, it shouldn't be that expensive. But anyways, um, so what do we got going on here? I'm um, just cutting some MDF blocks, and I thought I'd just show you why this works so well. Now, you can do this on the chop saw. There's nothing wrong with the chop saw. The only difference is that the chop saw it's great for doing miters, but uh, the truth of the matter is that blade does move, and if you really want to get real nice cuts consistently, the table saw is a great way to go with a sled like this. Also, a uh, table saw blade is a lot easier to change out than a chop saw blade. When you're cutting a lot of MDF like I am, you're burning through blades like crazy. The 10 inch blades are actually cheaper. These 10 inch cross cut blades are a lot cheaper. This is actually a multi use, but they're a lot cheaper, these 10 inch blades, than a, like a 60 or an 82 finish blade on a chop saw. Um, it's at least 20, 30% cheaper. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to set the camera up. I really don't want to hold this thing while I'm cutting. I don't know. It just didn't seem like the right thing to do. But I've got all this crap piled up on top of it, and you'll see how nice it is being a heavy duty guy. Um, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's see what happens if I can do this right. Let's square it up first. Nice repeatable results every single time. And I, uh, like I said, I just moved that fence when I was just literally talking. And um, that guy's the exact same length. Real nice. The only improvement I'm going to have to make with this uh, guy, and I know it's going to come real soon, as soon as I put a dado in here, uh, or a 45 rather is um, this guy tends to drop because I've made this throat large enough to make that 45. Um, but this guy does dip in a little bit. I might have to add a couple more fasteners to pin this throat plate in. But I'll tell you, the zero clearance, it's going to be real nice in veneered plywood or solids. And then and I can't wait to put in this back plate here so I don't cut into this all the time. I am going to cut into it, but at least I'll have zero clearance in the future. And that's pretty much it. I love it. It's um, Real good table. I literally had it perfectly square on first setup, which is unusual. I guess I just, I, I took a lot longer to screw this fence on. I got it perfectly square with these aluminum bars, which is unusual. Usually you don't get it that close. But for what I do, it's pretty darn close. I'm not even going to try to go down to thousands or hundreds. Um, the sled's made out of wood, and I have a lot of moisture in my basement. I'm just not going to go there. If it was made out of aluminum, maybe, but you know what? It's wood. If I get within less than like a 64th, that's fine. You know, it's a good sled. I definitely recommend it. It's going to be great for trimming cabinet doors or even cutting to the length, cutting panels to the length, anything really. It's going to be a nice, nice solution, uh, especially for 45s. Real nice zero clearance insert. I definitely recommend it. And uh, I think I'll do a plan for this soon and put it up online and um, and offer it to people. Uh, and hopefully you liked it. Thanks, guys.